What's going on, Mother Truckers? So this one was highly recommended to talk about. So we definitely want to talk about this. 18-wheeler crashes into disabled 18-wheeler. So it shows a Swift trailer and a night transportation trailer. Now, you know, you can find all this information at Montgomery County Police Reporter. Dot com and they even have this on a YouTube video that you guys can watch as well but I'm gonna share a couple images of this and we had so many drivers say Alex can you please share this you know because uh, definitely drivers need to know that hey if you're stuck in the middle of the road right and that's what happened here and I'm gonna read a bit of this uh, then you definitely need to put your triangles out so that the person behind you can see Right, it says that midnight EMC fire was dispatched to a major accident on I-69 southbound just north of FM 1485 in New Canyon. Units arrived on the scene to find a disabled 18-wheeler that experienced a transmission failure parked in the move lane of the freeway traffic in an area that was very unlit. You know, so mother truckers, the big PSA on this that drivers want me to share is uh, definitely put your triangles out because if not, then the driver behind you won't be able to see. And this weekend, I've had so many truck drivers send me links to Akuna Drive. I'll put his link down below. But in this right here, you know, you can watch the full video on his segment. Uh, basically, it's talking about how a truck driver got a ticket because there's a stop sign before you slowly go on the scale at a way station. And this driver rolled that stop sign and that DOT officer pretty much lit them a new one and got a ticket for it. Uh, mother truckers, if you see a stop sign, you got to stop. You know, have you ever rolled that stop sign and what the DOT officers say about this? But I thought that was a great question of the day. And since everybody has to stop at way stations, that stop sign right before you get on that scale, do you stop at it? So I want to give you a little breakdown of how the trucking job economy is going. And this article here was sent to me by Landline and it says trucking jobs take a big hit in May, right? Thousands of trucking jobs were lost in May as overcapacity, lower rates and high operating costs continue to plague the industry. Now it says here, according to the latest numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, more than 5,000 trucking jobs were eliminated from the economy in May. This marks the second consecutive monthly loss, which was preceded by a five month growth streak. So just want to give you those numbers right there. You know, some people say that they're not surprised at all. You know, this market has been tough. Other people are stating that more people need to get out of the business for uh, rates to come back. Uh, Mud truckers, I'm just here to give you the statistics on this. Yeah, as far as the Bureau of Labor Statistics goes, in May, uh, 5,000 trucking jobs were eliminated. Wanted to uh, give you some perspective of what the future might hold. Uh, Purdue University, you know, and the DOT, they're working together. And they keep on thinking that electric trucks is the future. And because of that, they have Purdue building the first highway segment in the U.S. that can charge electric vehicles, right? And so, I wonder what your thoughts about that is. You know, it says construction underway on test bed in Indiana to develop wireless charging for electric vehicles traveling at highway speeds. Right. You can find this information at uh, Purdue.edu newsroom release. Right. And stating building the first highway. And so I'll put those links down below. So it says West Lafayette. Indiana at the crossroads of America, Purdue University engineers and the Indiana Department of Transportation are working to make it possible for electric vehicles ranging from tractor trailers to passenger cars to wireless charge while driving on highways. Construction is in the progress of a quarter mile test bed on U.S. Highway 231 U.S. Highway 52 in West Lafayette that the team will use for testing how well a patent pending system designed by Purdue engineers and provide power to heavy duty electric trucks while traveling at highway speeds. So the, the interesting thing about this is, you know, um, I watched a little snippet clip it of this and pretty much they state that the semi truck has to be going about 65 miles per hour for it to be charging. Now, the interesting thing about that is, you know, uh, the Department of Transportation or the government, they're trying to uh, in, put in place speed limiters and who knows what that can be. 
But if this only works while semi trucks are going 65 miles per hour, you know, uh, that might not work well with the rules and regulations that they're trying to pass because, you know, they want to instill speed limiters for semi trucks. Right. So we got to see what that looks like. But, you know, it's a good read. It's a good article. I just want to share some of that information, see what that future can hold. But, you know, do you think this is a waste of space, a waste of time? You know, what are your thoughts? Uh, Mother Truckers, comment down below. Hey, Mother Truckers, uh, thanks for watching this segment. Uh, if you would like to be a part of Mother Trucker News, uh, reach out to Mother Trucker News at gmail.com and we could definitely get you on the show. Uh, or email us at mothertruckernews at, at gmail.com and we can talk about the topics that you care about. So, you know, we're just here just to give information to truck drivers. And so I appreciate you guys. Drive safe and we'll see you tomorrow.